Produsen-produsen televisi terbesar di dunia semakin mengandalkan teknologi smart atau bahkan teknologi kecerdasan buatan, termasuk Samsung yang bermarkas di Korea Selatan. With AI, you can now watch any pre-recorded content and it upscales in a whole new way so that what you end up watching is 8K no matter what. It uses a new AI processor and it has 512 neural networks and it's twice as fast as the previous version so it upscales everything in real time. Juga dari Korea Selatan, LG meluncurkan TV OLED nirkabel transparan yang bisa berfungsi tak sekedar sebagai sarana menonton film atau serial TV. So as you see the artwork behind me, so this TV is very unique where you can watch content on it just like regular movies and TV shows. But when you're not watching the TV, you can still provide unique experiences within that room. So like the artwork we have playing there, we have different types of artwork, we have a fish a bowl. Di musim dingin seperti saat ini, banyak warga Amerika lebih banyak melewatkan waktu di dalam ruangan menonton TV. Tapi belakangan tren menonton atau mengkonsumsi media, apakah film atau serial TV, juga telah bergeser. Tak hanya selalu di layar TV, tapi juga di layar komputer, tablet, dan bahkan di ponsel. Selama 2023, penjualan TV OLED paling canggih sedikit melemah. Last year was a challenging year. People did buy slightly more TVs than they did the previous year. But in terms of the types of TVs and the dollars spent, it was down a little bit uh, because people were very focused on value. I think that in 2024, we'll continue to see a little bit of the same, especially early in the year, because a lot of the economic factors that led to those cautious purchasing decisions are still in place. Tapi menurut Asosiasi Teknologi Konsumen, penyelenggara Consumer Electronic Show di Las Vegas setiap Januari, penjualan elektronik termasuk yang relatif tahan inflasi. Well, the consumer technology industry is the best story for inflation there is globally. It's the only product category where prices have gone down. For example, you can buy a phenomenal TV set for you know less than what it costs to, to buy all that in bottles of water. Uh, and it's, it's beautiful, it lasts longer, but you get more sophisticated TV sets, they become the center for the home. There's a lot about smart home here. Bagi yang ingin TV terbaru, produsen umumnya meluncurkan produk terbaru dan tercanggih pada Januari. Tapi bagi yang ingin berhemat, diskon terbesar biasanya diberikan jelang akhir tahun pada November. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.